Fly ball to right field over his Carroll. He's got it. And the Arizona Diamondbacks. What a game. It is hump day. Oh, it's gonna be a beautiful sunrise. Lucky day. Lucky day. Let's go. Let's go. We brought our backpacks today, huh? Cool, cool. Let's go. Seventy-six today for the high, but it's about forty-two right now. Ah, <laughs> uh, that one looks good on the first one. Yep. Yummy. What about you, Case? Plain one. Nice. Let's go, Circle K. Okay, let's go. We were first in line. Rice and Bears, today is Crazy Sock Day. So, Kaysen has an orange sock and a what? Black sock? Shark, shark. shark sock. And Cash has a popcorn Red sock. Red sock. And no, popcorn. popcorn sock didn't fit. Oh, it didn't fit. So, you got everyone. Uh, Mama has oh, a Christmas candy, sock. Candy cane sock. Black candy cane And we have red sock. Okay. Should be a fun one. So, you said if Cash has two million pennies, he's got a million dollars? Let's do the math on that. Well, that would actually be $20,000, Casey. Mm -hmm. I did have to use a calculator for that, just to be honest. I love you guys. Have a beautiful day at school. Okay, love you. Love, love you too. Have fun with those crazy socks. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Later, dudes. Bye. Bye. All right, they are off to school. I'm going to get through these load boards and uh, keep trying to do my thing. A little bit more tired than usual this morning. I stayed up a little bit late in the uh, hot tub because it was the game seven. Um, D-backs versus the Phillies, and that was a good game. I mean, it was close all the way until uh, about the fifth, sixth inning, and then still close. Could have been a homer away from a, a change of the, of the score, but D-backs ended up winning. Their pitchers came in and killed it, so pretty cool. Well, we spent 18 years, or I spent 18 years in Arizona before I met my wife, T-Dubs. Um, so that is somewhere, and actually right before we left Arizona, we did like a bucket list. <clears throat> Grand Canyon, all these different hiking trails, a couple of different watering holes, and then um, a couple of all the sporting events, and we went to the D-backs game, so it's cool. Case and Cash have actually been in that stadium for the D-backs, and uh, that game was played last night in Philadelphia, so sorry to Philadelphia fans, but the D-backs are going to the World Series. That's pretty cool. So our neighbor just stopped by, um, and she does like, what's it called, Sub sublimination or... Final printing, whatever this is called. It's called but. but she took kind of my logo and made T dubs on. I'm so, so excited. Oh. Look, it came with like little like straws and cleaners. That's so nice. I'm going to do a giveaway on my channel for like a couple so of weeks. Keep a lookout for that. But yeah, she's yeah. just a neighbor that like, hangs out with Katie every now and then. Yeah. Thanks, neighbor. Wow. How did you get to watching Lightning at the Masters? Uh, well, well, the US said. Women's Open. <laughs> Wow. Ooh, it broke the tree in half. All righty. Well, let's keep looking for loads. Yeah, it was the well, Eat some cinnamon toast crunch and our coffee. Yeah, it was what? It's like pop like Whoa. this. Whoa. More of the same today, but we're still trying. Um, this load popped up. There's two of them. It's been up for a while. It's a loud dodge. And um, then he... Or she, whatever. JB Hunt took it off the board, and they counter offered. Right as I bid on it, they took it off the board. Then they counter offered me another. Uh, uh, saying I got outbid. Sorry, it's about as loud as my dodge. <laughs> Might didn't have that grumble though. Um, counter offered me, and then said I got outbid. I said, okay, well, just I'm, I'm willing to take that one for twenty one fifty, which is pretty low still. Uh, it's only thirty five thousand pounds, which is not that light, but it's not maxed out of forty something, so. Um, then it came off the board for a little bit. One of them came off and then another one came back on. So they need to move, but will they actually move on it? That's the question. Oh yeah. So we'll see. But Kylan's dancing, as you can see right here, he likes different songs and that Bailey Zimmerman song religiously, he loves it. So I played it for him when mom and dad has told him that mom and dad saw him in person. They're like, he's like, what? <laughs> so pretty cool. Let's uh, keep looking for loads, but that's the only thing there. And there's only like probably six loads that are within, um, 50 miles of my house right now and all the rest of them go all the way to Anderson all the way to Charlotte so not a lot of loads uh, no solar panel loads today um, so yeah more of the same but I guess we're sending like another 100 billion dollars over 100 billion dollars over overseas but it's weird I don't know it doesn't make any sense and something else about our oil production 
we cut off ours, of course, for our, our own, we could supply our own selves with our own oil. But um, now we're raising the prices of oil in Iran uh, makes like 70% of their GDP off of oil sales, which is like funding half this war all over the place. It makes no sense, but makes a lot of sense if you kind of look into it. But why? Why don't we just live peacefully? Live, you, live you, where you live? I don't know. I know it's a, a fight for territory, but it's hurting everybody. So I don't know. That's my two cents. Halloween in six days. Let's go uh, keep looking for loads. Sorry, I have a reflection from the glass right on my face, but um, just got called again by a dispatch service. Saying, are you using one now? I'm like, no, and I never will be. <laughs> so I'm trying to get you guys banned because you're ruining the race for everybody. I think people are starting to come on to that. So get out of that sun. They are um, probably uh, ending their services with them or stopping their relationship with them. But these guys still already have a bunch of uh, MCs from a bunch of carriers, I'm sure. Poor little dog is getting all wet because the grass is still wet. <laughs> His legs are all small. <laughs> But yeah, we need to get rid of these dispatch services big time. One of the problems, one of the problems of of many that are out there. So, still looking for loads. The JB Hunt load's still up there. The one o'clock one. Hello. One o'clock one uh, is gone now. Hey, uh, so the, only, the seven o'clock is the one left. That's delivery. No, this is uh, just trucking. This is Dada's videos. Remember? Yeah. Can you get out of the bushes, please, and your little dog? Yeah. But yeah, dispatch services, guys. It's some uh, more the same, but not many loads at all. There's still about five or six loads that are within 50 miles of me. And the other ones, uh, there's only like another five that are outside of that. So, bad Wednesday. Tiki, we just got the call. Our carburetors are done. So, with the freight market the way it is, might as well work on that car. He said they were really gunked up, and uh, he's got them adjusted perfectly to run with that 671. He said they're actually made for that 671. So, And if you don't know what that is, a 671 is that big blower, that big giant um, belt going over that big pulley. It's a supercharger, a big supercharger, so... Let's play with those today and still keep our eyes on loads, but uh, we're gonna go pick them up. Let's go pick them up. You wanna come? Okay. This guy was just outside getting destroyed, so he had to get another bath because he was uh, completely muddy, full of leaves. Oh yeah. Heading to pick up uh, the carburetors. If you wanna see more of that, check out 3BB, my son's channel, just a three and two Bs. Um, and then these loads for uh, going to Kiss Me, they make it seem like some, unfortunately you didn't get it, uh, counter offer this, you've been outbid. And all three of them are up tomorrow. I feel like you're on the left. <laughs> so it's just a big scam, guys. They're, just, they're salesmen. They're gonna sell you that someone else got it. You're not gonna get a load. There's no loads today. Hold your truck, guys. We have to stick together as much as we can. If you can, hold your truck. Don't take these loads for that cheap. If, if you have to, I understand it, but um, we've gone through this a million times. This market goes up and down. Right now, there's a bunch of wars breaking out, a bunch of uncertainty in the world. So they are trying to uh, capitalize on that, which is really unfortunate. When uh, everything's going wrong, they are uh, trying to scam us out of even more margin that they, that they want to get. So it's sad. But there is less stuff moving, so I, I give, it to, give it to the brokers there. There's not as much people. They're all holding their breath, holding their, their guns, saying, what are we going to do here? We're going to be um, manufacturing more, producing more, or are we going to war? So... I see what's happening, and um, I get it, but still, don't <laughs> negotiate a fair rate. Don't do not do $1,400 to Orlando. That's ridiculous. You're going to have to deadhead out and end up making $600 on a 550, 600-mile trip down, and then another 200 to get back to Jacksonville to get a decent load or, or a better load coming all the way up into South Carolina. So a little bit crazy, but that's the way it is. Uh, we're going to go pick up some carbs and look for that on 3BB if you're interested in a 671 weed and blower on a Stroker 383 uh, in a third generation Camaro. Well, we just stopped for some gas and there was this load right here that I looked up real quick. Um, but there's no way you're gonna make, look at the appointments. So it picks up right now till four o'clock, but it delivers in Atlanta um, at three o'clock. There's no way, it's 1230 right now, you can't. And it's been listed six days ago. So either somebody fell off at last minute or this morning, but that's, if I would do that for like eight, 750 or eight, but uh, especially into Atlanta, it's crazy. So I don't know, I'll get some lunch and uh, stuff's popping up, but it's just, the brokers are waiting. They want to book the day before. They want to get you in at a, a cheap rate. Uh, they don't want to just give you what it's, what it's worth. Know your worth, they don't want to do that. So we're going to hold out, I understand. Like it's a repetitive record, but we are going to wait for something to come up. We're going to Uber drive. We're going to find other ways. 
but stuff like that makes no sense. You're not gonna make it there to Atlanta by three. And uh, then if you wait for the next day, you're gonna get a, a late fee. All these different things that brokers kind of try to like. Lipsy Logistics don't ever work with them. I had one guy comment on my Just Trucking family. Uh, we have two Just Truckings. One's just, just trucking like the page, which we started, I just switched over my old grill company to it, which I never really get on that one, so I'm sorry about that. But Just Trucking family is a group that I follow and I'm with, uh, we have a couple moderators on here, Michael Gray and Megan Hopper. Um, and that's, I'm on there a lot more. So if you want to <laughs> discuss with me or talk about stuff, that's where I'm at a lot more, Just Trucking family, but it's a group not the uh, the fan page or whatever that is. So I go in there every now and then, but it's like linked to my Instagram. So my Instagram automatically posts to that, but I don't really respond to it. So I'm sorry, I don't think I'm uh, ghosting you. I'm just never on it. <laughs> so anyways, uh, he had commented, hey, Lips of Logistics just uh, did all these fees and stuff for me. Like I had to be tracking all this time. I couldn't be this, like the, uh, about 30% of the load stuff was coming going off to that. And he's like, what's up with them? I'm like, don't work with them. They had, back in the day, they had all kinds of problems of not paying and all, all different kind of malpractices they were doing. Uh, so I wouldn't work with them. And, and Metal Art just went out of business. They were saying the same thing about them. They weren't, weren't paying their uh, invoices. You'd be just stuck with the bill and running loads for free. Um, and they just went out of business. Their brokers got taken away in August and they finally just went out of business like this month. And that's 250 uh, drivers they had. So some of these companies shouldn't be in business. They're just running into the ground and they're trying to steal as much as they can on the way out. So that kind of stuff doesn't make sense at all. So. Um, I don't know, just 3 o'clock into Atlanta, it's 1230, not happening. Plus, you can't go get loaded. You probably won't get out of there until 2, 230. All right, we have to fix the freight industry, but then again, it's supply and demand market. Just got finished with lunch with little Kylan. Uh, if you want to see that, you can check out 3BB also. <laughs> um, there was a load that was, I'm just looking for tomorrow now. There's nothing for today. It's getting later in the day. And um, there's Monster Logistics. I've seen them like once or twice. And they are um, have had this load from Greenville to Jacksonville for nine fifty. Then I said, okay, well I'll do that for twelve fifty, and I, I, that's only three hundred dollars more. And this is what they responded with: Oh yeah, holding there. So they're just they're just ripping everybody off and keeping their margin, guys. It's time for the brokers to prey on the on the uh, freight market, which is understandable. That's what they're going to do. Their salesman, or she's a salesman. Uh, it was a girl name. But who knows? So we're going to get back 3BB video, finish up uh, some stuff on that, and get the boys from uh, school in about an hour and a half. Oh, goodness. If you're interested in hair, T-Dubs <laughs> is doing something. And yes, take him home. Oh, goodness. Oh, goodness. Oh, yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Didn't bring any food. Sorry. Hi, little one. You're all dry again. Fish. <laughs> Okay, guys, so that'll end it for just trucking today. No load, just a bunch of emails and a bunch of shenanigans like this right here. But my whole day was taken up with that right there. I figured out a lot of the problem, um, figured out the problem. So if you want to check that out, check out 3BB. I'm sorry it's a short video today. Sorry it wasn't trucking. The giant ghost is up there. We'll look back to trucking tomorrow, but I got to get this thing back in the garage. And it's hurt. So check out 3BB, my son's channel to see what what happened god bless you i'll see you on the next one well it's day two of no uh load for just trucking but we did get a lot of progress done on I'm the in um, your car where you are flying helicopters and, and i'm playing a different game. spooky robux or whatever i don't know it's game cool pumpkins. but god bless you guys uh i know it's another another day of no video but we did get a lot of progress done on the car today there'll be a video coming out later so check that out and i'm gonna pop this video out and then um Pray for a good tomorrow, but we have a wedding on Saturday, so we have limited options for loads. But there was the loads are horrible today, guys. There was six hundred dollars down to uh, Florida, um, fourteen hundred dollars to New Mexico, so it's very bad, guys. I'm praying for everybody, and we finally got approved for Amazon. But what? like you guys said, the load board in Amazon not much better. And please check out 3BB and let me know a little bit about the comp cam that I have. The numbers on it, I'll post a picture on my uh, page, on my community post. And let me know what you know about that. It says an, it's a NOS cam, NOS nitrous, I think. Is, it says HP hey, at NOS, but it's a supercharged there. application. Is that the right cam? Hey, I was on, on the phone with uh, comp cams for 45 minutes and 20 minutes before hey, that. Can I drive your helicopter? Yes, yes, you can drive my helicopter. Um, and I never got through to anybody, so. And that was central time, so it just got past with them when they closed. God bless you guys. We hopefully get back to Lowe's. I don't know what's going on. It's gotten really bad since the uh, war started in Israel in Gaza, so I'm just praying for uh, everybody, praying for 
the country premiere for trucking because it's bad. But yeah, just added on to the last of the video from yesterday. Nothing going new today, but we did get a lot of progress in the garage. We started ordering parts, but I'm not ordering the cam until I'm 100% sure I'm getting the right one. God bless you. See you on the next one. Yep.